Hi guys and welcome back to Movies That Matter with the Viking. Today is my review for The Tax Collector, written and directed by David Ayer. Now David Ayer has done such films as Suicide Squad, Fury, Netflix's Bright, End of Watch, and also he wrote uh, Training Day. Now, I'm a big fan of David Ayer, I like his style, I like the way he directs films, but the last few years he's gone away from the big studio films. Suicide Squad was a huge success in terms of box office, critically it was dumped on, and it gets a lot of hate, but... We found out in the last uh, little while that that film was tampered with. A lot of scenes were cut. Warner Brothers meddled with that film a lot and really tampered with his vision. So it really wasn't a David Ayer film. And hopefully you get to see his cut of that movie. And then after that he went to Bright. And Netflix kind of let their directors do their thing. They hired them to do a job and they let them do it. But he's gone away from the big studio. He goes to more independent indie films. And that's exactly what the text collector is. Is. Now what is it about? It's about two men who work for a big crime lord. And basically what these two men's job is, is to collect the tax from the local gangs and crime mobs in this area. And that's their job. They go around, they collect that money, they bring it back and everything is done that way. Now these two men aren't angels whatsoever. These are bad men who do a lot of bad things but have a respect about them. People look up to them, people fear them, but they also have a respect towards them. And whatever respect they receive back, they give it back to people. But if you don't pay up, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, they will do bad things to you and they're not afraid to intimidate you or use anything that you have against you. Now, who does it star? It stars Shia LaBeouf and Bobby Soto. Now, this cast is, is familiarly unknown it, it really is it, it, i'm not too familiar with many of the cast members george lopez is in the film also but mostly the cast is a bunch of unknowns now i use this example a lot you go back to david Ayer's suicide squad made a lot of money what did the marketing do it marketed will smith and joker two huge ips per se and what the people go in to see was those two and what did they come away talking about they talked about Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. That was the talk of Suicide Squad in 2016. And I also used the other example of what Birds of Prey didn't do enough, is they marketed the film and they thought Harley Quinn was a big enough star to dominate the box office per se, but that wasn't the case. That film could have done with Joker returning and Will Smith returning, or one of them, and it would have propelled the performance of Margot Robbie a little bit more. It would have propelled her in as the character a little bit more. And that money, that film would have been a little bit better uh, financially. But I use those examples. And that's exactly what the tax collector does. The marketing was centered around a David Ayer film. It was marketed around a Shia LaBeouf film. And that's why people went to see the film. Was because of those two. And that's why I was interested. Because Shia LaBeouf was acting. And, and David Ayer was the director. But you go into this film looking to see those two to see those two styles but you come away and you're talking about the performance of Bobby Soto. Bobby Soto is very good in this film. Now the chemistry between Shia LaBeouf and Bobby Soto is very very good. I would have just watched a two hour film of the two of them riding in a car or drinking coffee together because their conversation was engaging and was interesting. I was felt like I was with the two characters. I really did and, and the strongest point of this film is probably the first 20-25 minutes because you follow these two characters just being together having banter talking about everyday stuff while they go around to each guy and while they kind of they sort out things and while they go and get the money that they need and they're intimidating people and they're bad people but their chemistry is very very engaging that's probably the strongest point of the film and Shia LaBeouf was marketed to be in this film but he's not in the entire thing he, he's in a part of this film a, a, a very substantial part a very important part of the story but he's not in the entire thing and it very much is a Bobby Soto film from his point of view it's about his character but I would say the material that David Ayer gave Shia LaBeouf was very very good Shia LaBeouf killed it some very good dialogue some very good scenes some funny scenes also so he absolutely killed it george lopez no man people had doubts about him in this film he is very good in the performance that he has to do he does what he needs to do right he's this intimidating crime lord boss you know uh, and, and he does he does well at that he's intimidating he, he he's looked up he's respected within this community but the story follows those two men collecting the tax for george lopez's character and they run the shit in this town but then uh, a, a, an enemy comes into the town, George Lopez, an enemy that an old enemy that he has. This enemy comes in and starts causing shit. Shit starts starts to go down, relatively. You know, it, it really does, and it goes down quick. But what I say about this film, it's it's honest, it's brutal, it's bloody. The violence, 
interesting characters. It's not afraid to dive into this world and tell us how it really is. It definitely holds no punches. But for me, it's a very engaging, a very interesting film that I, I, I really liked. I've I seen a lot of the critics didn't like this film. I think that's more of a bias towards probably David Ayer and probably the Shia LaBeouf because this film is actually very, very good. And the action, the way it's done, you can see that it's not a huge high budget film, but the action looks like it is a high budget film. It's done really, really well. There's one scene that's kind of a slow motion scene where there's a lot of shots going off, a lot of killing going on, and it's done really, really well. Very, very cool, really did like it. But overall, it's a very, very good film. Shia LaBeouf kills it in the performance that he has in the film, but Bobby Soto is the main star. I came away from this film wanting to see more of what Bobby Soto does. Even though I'm a huge Shia fan, a huge David fan, I came away wanting to know about his character. I really did. But the enemy of this film, the, the, the arch nemesis per se for Bobby Soto's character, is a brutal villain. You know, you can see villains in films who, who do bad things, but this this villain really did bad things. Now, sorry, I don't know many of the actors' names because a lot of them are unknown, a lot of them are Mexican and things like that, so I'm sorry uh, I don't know the actor's name, but they are badass. And even the, the bad guy in this film has a, has a, has a girlfriend or a, a love interest as well, and she is probably worse than him. The stuff that they do in this film is brutal, and at, at times, it's very, very hard to look at it, it's very hard to stick your stomach and watch it. But I, it's, a, it's an honest, brutal film that maybe if David Ayer was doing this with a big, high profile studio, again, he wouldn't be allowed to do his thing with the blood and the guts and the violence and the language. Very, very well done. Overall, for me, this is David Ayer at his absolute best and probably his best film since Fury. It really is. Like Suicide Squad was tampered with. I wasn't a big fan of Bright, but this for me is a comeback for David Ayer. Even if he is getting critical reception, which is bad, I wouldn't listen to him. Definitely watch this film yourself. It is, it, it's very good. I, I had a really good time. It's not a long film. You go in, you down, you're thrown into this world straight away. And there was not one instance in this film I was bored. I wasn't. I really wasn't. Bobby Soto's character is very likable. You like the environment he's in. He, At the end of the day, deep down, he's a good guy who wants to do the right thing for his family. And shit starts hitting the fan. And then you're brought into this journey with these characters. But guys, definitely check out Tax Collector, written and directed by David Ayer. If you have seen it, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear it. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, just go to the link in the description and come and follow me on top of the one thing we love, which is movies. Until next time, guys. Shia LaBeouf is the best actor of all time. And yes, I said it.